is the Harbor Freight's cheapo 30 inch uh, sheet metal bender. <laughs> um, now I want my bend to be at two and a half inches. And go up 90. Go a little past 90. Because you have that spring back and then you're just going to... Use it to the tools. Sheet metal brake works perfect. 26 gauge galvanized. Something that practically nobody except for HVAC is going to be using. They've got a lot better brake, so joy to them, right? Here's the idea. The material sits on top of these points. So this is a half inch out, so there's still a little bit there. I've got it so that it pretty much here lines up with those two points. So it'll just kind of sit on there. I might not even tell you the truth, have to tap these, but uh, at least it'll give it a leg to sit on more or less. And the reason why I made them the way I did is simplicity. I need to go more than I need to go more than the length of the table, so 48 inches. So if I have two of them, I can just put them on there, overlap them, and just spread them out until I get what I need. So that's the idea. 
Now I just got to bend the rest of them. the idea I can just let them sit there and if I need to I have room to adjust and so on and so forth and I think that'll work out nicely towards the end I'm not even gonna have to cope the corners I'll just set one on top of the other it's so this is what I was talking about by just coping the corner and putting one on top of the next one I had to remove the two tabs I didn't really do much measuring in this design because they sat on top of the bolts that held the frame together so but it's for what it is it will hold itself if anything I might drill and pop rivet them or something like you know it's to be determined Alright, so got it in place. I uh, don't have any fasteners on it as of yet, but uh, I mean, you know, just like I say, I cut these out to clear those bolts, and then I also, on uh, this one, if I can get it around to the other side here, I trimmed it out. You know, hard to see there, a little, but so that I could still get my ground clamp for the plasma cutter just on the uh, grate. It's a, oh no, I think it'll help out. I'm probably going to end up having to fasten it together, make it more rigid, so that it doesn't slide all over the place when I try and slide sheets across the table. I mean, it is slightly below where... The sheets are going to sit, but I'm sure it will just rattle all over as is, so. That's the uh, newest fume control for the plasma table. I mean, I've got that, and I've got these sheets bolted around the side. I haven't gotten this one bolted on because I just use it to remove if I want to retrieve something right now. But, that's what I got. Thanks for watching.